with Joseph Babyface Pass discussing his upcoming fight in February. Could you please give us a little bit of information about this fight? Uh, my fight's going to be at uh, 170. It's going to be my first fight in welterweight. Uh, I'm fighting Danny Andrews. I think it's his pro debut. And uh, looking forward to it. Describe your fight style to us. Um, my fight style, I uh, actually feel like a complete fighter. I know most guys can't say that, and the record I have probably doesn't show that. But uh, I feel like if I need to be on the cage, I can take it to the cage. If I need to be on the ground, I'll keep it on the ground, get it to the ground. If I need to stand and bang, we'll stand and bang. You're a pro fighter now. Tell me about your very first amateur fight. How were your nerves and your mindset? Um, it was awful. I was nervous, was terrified. Walking in the ring, I look back. Uh, no corner men, <laughs> no coach, no nothing. I have no clue what to do. I didn't even know where to go into the ring at. And I look back and then finally everyone's there. I go out there and I start fighting and uh, get arm barred in about a minute and 45 seconds into it. And uh, I was so ecstatic about fighting, I had to look at my corner and ask them what to do while I was being arm barred. And they said I should probably tap. <laughs> How has times changed for you now? How is it when you go into the octagon now? Uh, no nerves. I don't care about who's behind me or who's in front of me. I just care about who's standing across me when I get inside. Uh, strictly business. You know what you're signing up for when you step in. You know, there's a chance you can get cut and there's a chance you can cut somebody. It's a risk you gotta take. Uh, like I say, it's strictly business. I'm like a caged animal when I get in there now. How are you training for this fight? Every day. Uh, training, can't really say I've changed my training too much because uh, I've been training and patiently waiting for the opportunity for the past year to, uh, you know, step up and maybe get another fight. As far as training for this fight, uh, I think we're going to work my hands a little bit more, so I don't want to get the reputation of a guy that just lays there and holds you down if you're a wrestler. I'll, uh, I'll make sure to punch you in the face when I'm holding you there or punch you in the face standing up, kicks, knees, whatever. What can your local fans expect to see in you? They can expect to see a fight. They can expect to see a show. Uh, probably going to come out, flex my muscles, uh, do a little dance get some fighting going on and probably pick up the mic and let everybody know how I feel about everyone and everything. So. What's your prediction on this fight? Knockout or TKO? Out of all your fights, training and sparring, what is the hardest hit you've ever landed? Hardest hit I've ever landed would have to be against my fight, my very last amateur fight, which turned out to be a draw at the very end. Uh, it was against David Lindsay. And the uh, very first punch I threw, I hit him, and I just remember, man, shooting in after I threw the punch, and I remember it felt like he was falling down. It's because he was. He was out cold. He told me after the fight, it's the hardest he'd ever been hit. So. What do you do for fun when you're not fighting or training? Uh, I'm either riding my motorcycle, stuck here at the gym, lovely place, love it, or uh, spending time with my girlfriend and my friends, just being out and about, being normal. Do you have any last comments, words of wisdom, anybody you'd like to thank? Uh, once again, I want to thank Brian Cox, Team Pincer, everyone here that has uh, you know, never given up on me with the head case that I am, keeping me mentally strong, pushing me forward. Uh, all the guys I train with, Alvin, Greg, Josiah, Abe, Dan, all you guys, uh, mean a lot. Fans, mom, dad, girlfriend, everybody, local MMA online for doing this video and getting me out there. I appreciate it. Well, we look forward to watching your fight. Thank you and good luck.